Okay, and I'm going to call it quits for now with the polishing. I'll show you why. For one thing, I still do a lot of crafts, and as a newbie rock cutter, come on, little guy, focus. Wow, he's having a hard time. I have ground my thumbnail down to the point where I cannot really do some other crafts just by being silly and touching it where I ought not to touch. But the main reason is that this 1200 grit wheel, when it arrived, it had a few holes like that, but after a good 20 hours of hardcore agate polishing, it's just pretty much done. And that's, I guess maybe me being a bit heavy handed or just time, I'm sure this has polished thousands and thousands and thousands of rocks and there's one little bitty hole on the 3000 but never fear it turns out these wheels are from johnson brothers lapidary supply which is a great little company and they don't charge shipping they don't charge tax they are super little mom and pop and i just ordered another wheel last night so it's only like 30 bucks more to get a whole new wheel and lapidary dave will own this little beauty i'm just gonna get him a brand new wheel and Know, put it on there go back to town it's just too hard to try to only use the edges and you know I'm putting way too much effort in and making occasional little you know it's, you shouldn't be using a wheel like that so new wheel on the way but let me show you a little of what I was able to accomplish day before yesterday this is not finished it's a septarian nodule which is a fossilized mud blob it is a ancient an ancient piece of mud and I know it sounds weird but I think it's kind of cool it's actually pretty dang hard let me hop on over to my little bin I'll show you a few more things so here's the little bucket of rough cuts uh, from the slab saw I know you probably would have liked to see the tripod and the actual cutting but honestly it was cold that day and I just wanted to get her done and get back inside here's a little more septarian nodule interesting it's totally rough, just been cut. I worked all but four of my little Mexican crazy lace pieces, which is really fun. Wait till I show you some of the finished ones. They're not totally finished. I'd like to have one more go at them once the new wheel arrives. So go back to the 1200, polish a little better, and then back to the 3000. I kind of had to skip that middle wheel. So they're not as shiny as they could be, but... The crazy lace is really fun. I ended up simply going for the nicest pieces of color. It's such interesting material. And I made little shapes because I happen to like shapes. You can always find ovals and circles. This one was from Jean. It's a piece of Jasper, I think. I just cut off the edges with the trim saw, so I had less grinding. I have a few, I four of the awesome little crazy lace pieces left. And let me show you what I plan to do with them. The rest, this is just the little rough, rough stuff bucket. This is a dendrite agate. I'll show you its, its other half. You saw it in one of my last videos. Little agate. This is a hematite. It's very, very shiny. It's, I don't really know what this is. Petrified wood, hematite, not completely sure. It's cool though. There's my little dude. More of the septarian nodule. They're all bright and whatnot, but okay, rough stuff. And here's a giant hunk of obsidian, which is from the mining trip to, yeah, the one of a kind fracture pattern, the mining trip to glass beads. There's some fire in there. And here they are. This one is <coughs> not crazy lace. It was just a cool little something or other. But I have four pieces left to work. And because I tend to find shapes interesting for my personal use, and I'm the one putting them to the wheel, what the hey? I made some shapes little claws. I tried to stick with the banding patterns. It's uh, 
guidance or where there's a cool little feature or something in shaping them. But I, I didn't really give it a whole lot of, you know, intense calculation. I kind of just went like, oh, that's fiery. I'll make a little flame. There's a cool druzy pocket. Nothing real. Oh, high tech. I accidentally gouged the side a little bit, which is totally my bad, but I just love the shape. So I, yeah, this is terrible. I shouldn't admit this. I'm going to wire wrap it. I'm just going to put a little piece of wire there so you can't see it. And that's, that's my grave master strategy for covering my lapidary error. Yeah. I shouldn't tell you that, but I'm a wrapper first and not a wrapper. I wish that would be cool. I'm a wire wrapper. Anyway. Mexican Crazy Lace, and I'll show you what else I did.